from the YouTube dog Joe is this week up there telling you right now a man who knew that Lloyd Lawson should have uh, said something about what he had done during the college admission scandal. <laughs> Ellie Cookie Mueller! Ha! Welcome week for update. I am Ellie Cookie Mueller. Oh my god, help us. Yeah! Let's shout out to the Ace with this fan, and it's Alex K with his animations, the Anthony Pente Show with with all our challenges and things like that, the Golden Fire with his uh, fan edits, and Rita Bazaar, who I just met uh, on YouTube last week. You know, I I discovered her uh, channel after she had discovered mine. You know, and I thought that she is a really funny person. And I thought that uh, her work is excellent. You know, I think that her work is excellent. You know, so excellent in fact that you know, I thought, why not to give her a shout out? You know, she has a little under uh, 200 subscribers, so, you know, uh, I thought that if uh, I, I give her a shout out here, then maybe she'll go up to about maybe 350 by him by the end of the week, so please help her get there. You know, and everybody else, um, you shall spotlight uh, one of the list. Please check them out as well. Tonight we're talking about Lloyd Laughlin, though. Adam, you might want to listen to this, man. We're talking about Lloyd Laughlin tonight. She's still deep in the college admission scandal. Now, she should have been clean about everything, like Felicity Huffman was. Now, Granted, her record's still bad, but at least she's not on death row. What? Yeah. No, I said what, not... Lori Lawson should have been honest about her, uh, about what she did, like uh, Felicity Huffman was. Her record's, her record's still bad, but at least she's not on death row, like Lori's about to be. She won't. Who knows? Anyway. They didn't give that to El Chapo, she ain't getting it. Must you mention that? Okay. Uh, she's about to have a huge trial, and her daughters may have to testify against her. Okay. Damn, that's a low blow right there. When you messed up and your own family members have to testify against you? They won't. Oh, you're so saying. how the fuck? Are you going to change May to have bullshit? Now, her team members even uh, told her to get her life together. She made a gamble that, uh, she lost, she took a huge gamble that, that she herself lost. Mm -hmm. now, it says here that uh, she's going to be in prison for four years. You know, when this whole thing uh, comes down to it. Now, she pleaded not guilty, even though she is guilty. When the court finds her uh, guilty, she's going to get 40 years in prison. Like I said, she should have pleaded guilty like Felicity did. Now, Felicity only got two weeks. Two weeks! Okay! Two weeks! Four years! What would you, what would you take? Wait, what? Yeah, Felicity did the same thing that Lloyd did. Which is pay like uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars for their own kids. The kids going to get into the, uh, the school, the parents uh, bribe the, uh, the colleges uh, $500,000. What do you mean they bribe? In other words, they say, okay, if you let uh, our uh, kids uh, go to the school, we'll give you uh, so much money that you won't have to uh, ask your students for tuition money ever again. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Here's the top eight list, folks. There we go. That's the top eight things that Laurie Logan will do in prison. 
It's log logging. Number eight. Count every nail file in the cell. That sounds freaking dumb. Number seven. Right. I will not cheat. I ain't saying that fucking number. No! No! A shit ton of times. Number six. Pick up every bar of soap that her fellow prisoners draw. That sounds stupid. You ruined a perfectly good joke. Number five. Fix every prison uniform that's messed up. But that doesn't even make sense. Y'all not even trying at, at this point. Number f SHUT UP! Number four. Prepare every broken wall. Number three. Dance to a new song written by 55 of the worst singers in history. By a point 55. Number two. Run around her own prison so 500 times a day. You know, I'm tired <laughs> of this man <laughs> trying to make things funny by putting a random number in front of something. Number one, stare into space for 45 minutes. You see, I'm tired. <laughs> we'll be back. This person. Put we'll be back. Random numbers. We'll be back after this. Make it look funny. Yeah. We'll be back. Commercial. And now for the weather, here's our weatherman, Al. Al? It's gonna be hot! Thank you, Al. This guy is not gonna work. CLIMATE CHANGE! Ah! If your boss is a jerk and you get home from work and you feel like a troglodyte, there seems to relief from this hardship and grief. Thank goodness for me! At night! 695 a yard. Is that the best price you can get on good carpeting? I don't know for sure, but I don't see how anybody could do any better. Especially when you consider what that 695 gets you besides nice carpeting. It gets you polyfoam padding, professional installation, free Bissell rug shampoo with two rooms, and with credit, no installment payment for 60 days. What else can we throw in? Well, how about one free t-shirt with any order? Five Good deal? If pure... Welcome back to the show. Yes, indeed. Yes, 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 yes. Woo -wee. We are in for something good tonight, folks. Yes. And now it's time for let's talk about it's last talking time. Go, go, go. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Booyah! Buckle up! Jump! That's the day. You said today. The day before that, you said tomorrow. The day before that, you said do that. Nah. I ain't no special thing when it comes to this thing. Well, I do know it. And you! So yesterday you do a thing at 9 o'clock, you do an egg, 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 you go on, 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 and on. You realize the past is the future. You follow the future, don't look back. The future is a word. And you see, in, in the word, they have syllables. And syllables can be made into sentences. We have sentences, and it is 9 8 in the afternoon. Yeah, I do tell you, sir, hey, it's talking time. Now let me tell you that, bro. Hey, it's talking time! Talking time! You talk in English, Spanish, or even French. I'm talking doggy time. Doggy time. The only girl. Where's that is? We talking that. We doggy doggy time. You got talk. I just got made. Here's Kongi. 
Where's the news? The doggy, you better wake up right now. You get your kung ass out of this kung seat. Ow, ow, is, is, ow. Is this under kungable? Under kungable? Under kungable. Hey, easy, easy, Damn easy. It. Under, under kungable. That's not even under a word. Under kungable. Yeah. Sit back. Under kungable. What the hell? Under kungable. Under kungable. What the hell? What the hell is going on here? Okay. It says here that there are rumors squirming around that her daughter, Lori Laughlin's daughters, will be the star witnesses against Lori Laughlin in the college admission scandal. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't remember, let me uh, let me recap this whole thing. All right. Lori Laughlin and her husband, Mosimo. Giannulli are accused of paying $500,000 in bribes so that their daughters Olivia Jade and Isabella Rose could be crew team recruits for the University of Southern California. The couple pleaded not guilty in the case. Am I guilty? Why? 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 Why not sit? Why not sit? So my sister with Mister. Why not brother mother? Who knows? Why I not grand grandpa for trap? Now listen to this, Adam. Okay, here's something interesting. All right, an unnamed source told us told us weekly that Lori has been told by the legal team that at the U.S. Attorney's Office will use her daughters as star witnesses in hopes of securing a conviction. The source said the daughters had their world turned upside down when their parents were indicted. Understandable, understandable, or whatever. Anyway, the source also said that Laughlin reportedly asked if there was anything that could be done to prevent the girls from testifying. Easy, yes, first. Hold on, wait a minute. Yes, first. If the girl says, you know, I, I don't want to, this is stre stre stressful, then it's understandable if they don't, if they don't want to. No, hold on. She was told, now the source also said that she was told there wasn't unless there was a change from not guilty to guilty. Accepting a plea bargain would be the only solution. I'm like, that would have been a solution a year ago. You know, we what? talked about this last year. Understandable, understandable. Okay. Meanwhile, this is what's uh, crazy about this whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Lori Laughlin could face four years in prison. Felicity so Huffman only got like two. Weeks. Two weeks. Understandable. Understandable. That's not right. Yeah. Funny. Funny. But Olivia Gilly reportedly knew that her parents were trying to get uh, both her and Isabella into the University of Southern California. You sure that one? Yeah. Now, uh, Olivia didn't, didn't think at the time that there was anything wrong with it. And I'm like. Really? They're going to have uh, an appearance in court for real on May 2nd. They're going to appear uh, the, uh, a few months before on February 27th. But that's not uh, the main thing, right? The main thing here is look. Alright, uh, some, uh, some of our team members, uh, as I said, you know, said that this uh, could be a huge trouble you know, if they keep on going like this. You know, they said, I think it was a gamble, and a gamble, Frank. But frankly, given all the other parents who pled, who really have light sentences, it was a game. It was a gamble they lost. Prosecutors are looking at these two, at Lori Laughlin and her husband, saying, "You haven't pled. You have seen dozens of other parents pled, the, pled guilty or plead guilty, whatever." And I'm like, really? The only uh. The only parents who had a lighter sentence, who had the lighter sentence than anybody else, were the couple, you know, Felicity Hoffman and uh, her husband. Was John Cena, John Cena's ex-wife, jo John Cena himself, and John Lakerfish Cena. Also known as John Cena. Yes. Now, this is where, uh, yeah. This is where things are getting uh, real here. Because now what people are saying that, that she's going to get like 40 years in prison. He came in count past 10. 
And on top of that, they're also facing money laundering charges. Understandable. It'd be like that. So what do you think uh, they're going to do? Are they going to uh, finally uh, take uh, a plea deal? I bet they won't. Well, but they if, might. Besides, what, what what's the plea deal? A plea deal that's when uh, you say, okay, fine, uh, we did it. No, we're ready to uh, take uh, anything uh, for it. And, uh, and almost half the time, they'll give you uh, a lot of sentence. You know, uh, in prison. I think that the only time that they've actually done this kind of thing, you know, the only, the only time they've done this kind of thing was with the Felicity Huffman. And again, that was last year. They you know, went to everybody, but some, but some people bite, some people, some people, some people don't. And if she bites, that's understandable. And if she don't bite, that's also understandable. But that's the thing, all right? Felicity Huffman uh, had the uh, shortest uh, prison sentence of anybody who uh, has ever done that. Most of the other people have gone through uh, at least uh, three to nine months uh, of the whole thing. So uh, Felicity Huffman uh, got off real easy, real quick. How? She was the first person to uh, plead guilty. She was the first person uh, in the whole thing to uh, plead guilty. Understandable. First person who, uh, who did that according to uh, the court. Now say it's, uh, that they're the person uh, a much more sentence than anybody else. And again, I apologize for, uh, well, we're going to, uh, criminal, uh, about this, but, excuse me, it's the kind of story that needed to be told, and quite frankly, I got to, uh, I got to talk about it. Tomorrow night we're talking about, uh, Pete Holmes, well, and I promise you that it won't be too nutty, alright? I promise you that it won't be, uh, who are uh, out there, alright? That's the news. I'm out of the case. Bye bye bye. Bye bye.